There's some fantastic table tennis, and for those of you out there, fans of the sport, well, it hasn't been a disappointment whatsoever, has it? First, the Women's Champions League, and shortly after that, the men's as well. The women's played in Linz, of course. What a fantastic week of table tennis that was, and well, it's only gotten better here in Dusseldorf. Not a bad way to spend your time at home and in front of a screen. the action underway here and it's a ferocious start already and got off to a good start two nothing up attack all the way but so measured in his approach there exactly what he was doing just waited for that opening finds the corner beautifully as well to get off the mark and of course has played all of his club table tennis in his homeland of Germany Starting all the way back in 1986 with TSV Höchst before joining Frankfurt in 94, then Gunnan in 95 and has been with Borussia Dusseldorf since 2006. Very much the face of the club and for all the right reasons as well. This is promising stuff from young uh, Jonathan Grotz. has started this first game at a very high pace which is definitely what you expect from him that is the way he likes to play you do wonder if he can keep it up for the entirety of this match he's going to have to because Ball who hasn't quite got going just yet certainly will at some point reading that one another shake of the head from ball suggests he knows he's not quite at the races yet either well did ever so well to transition from defense into attack there the German but I'm just failing to find that finishing touch
did come up against each other at the European Games in Minsk as well in 2019. In the second round of the men's singles competition. Ball winning 4-2 on that occasion. Of course, a best of five here in the Champions League. Well, five game points here for young Jonathan Grotz and a chance to give himself an early and vitally important lead here and, well, takes it with a bit of help from Bolt. Again, misreading that one. So 11-5, a convincing start. And a slightly surprising one. Timo Ball after such a powerful display in that first match. Unable to match it here in his second. However, still plenty of table tennis to be played and Ball certainly about to get going. You would think so anyway. Catching the net there. Spotted by Ball, not necessarily by Graz, but such is the respect for Ball and his honesty. Uh, Graz never really questioning it. Quite coming together at the moment for Timo Ball. So a real opportunity here for Grot now. Of course, early days in the second game, but momentum well and truly with the day as he continues to just to power forward. more like it it will do his confidence some good not that he ever doubts his own ability I'm sure Frustration coming through. Not too often you see all that much emotion from Timo Ball at the table or away from it, to be fair. Fantastic stuff. This is so much more like it from the legend. And backs it up with another. Is this the turning point? Or just a bump in the road for Jonathan Grotz? Still has a two-point cushion to work with. 5-3 up here in game two. And a good return there from side of the table there. Had to really dig deep.
Well worked point there. Naya Pushma going for a timeout, aware that ball. Timo Ball find his way again. Intriguing stuff here in Dusseldorf. Is that one long? Important point out for the German. within one. Excellent stuff from Grotz. He's not let, letting anything get to him here at the moment. Even when he does deviate away from his attacking approach and things don't necessarily go his way, he's quick to get things back to where they need to be. Or he's been able to do that so far. But Ball is doing just about enough to keep himself in this. Hasn't been the best of performances from him. I'm sure he'll be the first to make that clear. I'd be happy to admit it. But even when he's not at his best, he's still a, a tough cookie to crack. Chance again, and it's taken again. Game point to Grotz here, and opportunity to go 2 nothing up. Oh, he's going to have to wait a little longer, though. Motion there from Ball as well. Something you see too often. Trying to fire himself up. Oh, had time to really wind up that backhand. Well, advantage Ball here. And he takes it. 
Massive game for Timo Bolt. Game two ends at 12. seen it and done it all before he's found himself in this sort of situation on many an occasion and can draw back on all that experience which is uh, a real asset at this stage of a match not a bad way to start off game three there Start from ball here. Looking a lot more like his usual self now. Oh, well played shot that from Gott. Bot or, or a ball, should I say. Already on his way to his left. Wasn't expecting that return. Much better start to this game now from Ball. First time he's really been able to create a little bit of distance between himself and uh, Grot. <laughs> Making life a little too easy for the day in that time. Opportunity. Unable to take it though. Oh, well played shots there from Grot. And firing it straight into the midsection of Bolt. Fourth we go now. Turning into one of those that all have viewers on the edge of their seats if they're not there already. Oh, 
That hasn't been the most explosive of encounters. Well, it's been easy on the eye, nevertheless. Absolutely impossible to say which way it's going to go at the moment. Good rally unfolding here, and Paul takes it. 7-5 up now. Oh, well, that the best rally of the match, possibly, of the evening so far. A little bit of good fortune there for Bolt. The top of the net just taking the pace off of that one. And Jonathan Grot with absolutely no time to adjust. Able uh, to defend a one of five game points for Bolt. German. Still heavily in front and in a fantastic position and takes it second time round. So Bolt will take game three. Oh, what a start to game four. This is going to be very interesting now. Oh, just about caught the table. Did he? I'm not sure. Ball thought he did. I'm not sure Grot thought he did either. Well, I think both players felt that Caught the side of the table rather than the lip. Okay. 
Well, real sportsmanship there from Jonathan Grot. You have to take your hat off to him there. Real respect shown there between the two players, and that's what this sport in this competition is all about. Really good to see. Square here early on. Edges in front. A wonderful first return there. Working the angle really well. And takes that second opportunity. Just as well. 5-3 up now. Superb return to the table from Jonathan Grot. Knew exactly he's got a job to do. It's one thing realizing what you have to do, it's another going out there and doing it. And he is delivering and ticking all the boxes at the moment. At the moment, it looks like we're heading into a decider again. Five point cushion, three away. The ball a pegs one back. Far away there. The ball knows it. <laughs> Superb placement, that. Lovely stuff from Grotz. What a reaction we're seeing him put together here. 9-5 up, mouth-watering stuff from the date. Oh, still got room to work with.
Let's see if a ball. Closes the gap to two. Not backhand there initially, doing all the damage. Gart unable to recover. Of serve and it pays off. Three game points. Oh, another excellent rally. Both these players are pushing each other all the way. Fantastic for the neutral. Probably a little difficult to handle for those supporters of either side here. Either way, it's been a brilliant start to the semi finals as Bolt. Is battling back from. Well, you don't want to say the deep, but it wouldn't be the first time we've seen him turn things around. Well, a ball absolutely sure that that one didn't catch the lip that time, and it's such an important stage of the game. Be handing anything to God, that's for sure. Replay showing. Got it absolutely spot on though. Ten all. Oh. A little bit of good fortune that time for Jonathan Grotz. Game point again. Some will say good fortune, others will say perfect placement. Either way, the advantage goes to Jonathan Grot here. Can't take it. Really missed opportunity, that one. Almost a little too eager to get over the finish line. Easily said, of course, sitting comfortably and watching from afar. Different story when you're at the table. A lovely return. Such a smart return there from Timo Bolt. Oh, the pace off it kept it nice and short, heading out wide as well. And now a match point for the German. Jonathan Grot not going anywhere just yet. What a performance from both these players. Ball with all the aces now. For the second time. Chance to seal the deal. moments like these you hope to get from semi-finals and finals 
And the action here in Dusseldorf, not disappointing. into the lead so had one chance not too long ago to send us into a fifth game he's got another opportunity here Now 15-14 up. Now the players have done everything they can to make this a memorable tournament so far. But everyone involved here in Dusseldorf has had a part to play. And tonight is proving to be an absolutely Fantastic evening of table tennis. This fourth game alone has been an absolute joy. And the square again, 15 all. Pushing it down the line. Opportunity, credit to Boldo. And it looked like he was down and out there. Comes up with a stunning return. It's this one here. Catching Rotz completely off guard. And now, match point again for the German. Just keeps on delivering this incredible game four. Almost lost for words at this point. I'll just let these two gents battle it out, I think. against the serve the Jonathan Glotz but should come as no surprise really as Paul takes the points and it's all square again on a knife's edge to say the least here
pounces into attack there. Timo Ball just set up kindly for him. God knew he was in trouble. Is this the moment? Ball to serve. Chance to there. Can't take it. Seen all as this and nail bite continues. It's almost a sly grin on the face of Jonathan Grotz. I'm sure he's enjoying himself, regardless of the gravity of this game, as he now goes into the lead. Game point to the day. After all that action, it's uh, a poor serve from Timo Ball that hands the game to Jonathan Grotz. So, uh, wow, what a game that was. Absolutely sensational stuff and a slightly disappointing finish to it, to be honest. But take nothing away from both players who gave absolutely everything to that. Grotz takes it 21-19. Which means that we will go into a decider, the first to six, to see who takes a match four here in this semi-final. So, game five here. Ball to serve first. First to six. So we won't have another 21-19. That's for sure. But we could have another match to come. Of course, I can get the job done here. Start from the Dane. Two nothing up. Of course, uh, a two point lead here in uh, game five. Well, could be instrumental to say the least. Time out for Dusseldorf. Timo Boll, of course, will take it all in his stride. He's found himself in tougher situations throughout. His long and illustrious career. And he is on the back foot here. Forgot that. <laughs> and 
That's a well taken point. Uh, Jonathan caught 4 0 up, two points away. And keeping a UMMC in this semi final. match points as well. Oh, what a win this could be for Jonathan Grot. And he takes it first time asking. A superb turnaround, a wonderful comeback. And now we will go into a match of five. What an encounter between these two. A real battle. Ball perhaps not exactly at his best. But he certainly made Jonathan Grot work for each and every point, and work he did. Comes away with the goods in an absolutely stunning fourth match in this semi final. So, match five now around the corner, and it will be the match to decide who goes through to tomorrow's final. <laughs> 